this game trolling me all along the way. Um... Hey everyone, welcome back to Games Done Slow and Bad, where we play games slowly and often badly. Today we are going to get harassed by bugs, some weird blue things, and some sneaky grass. Nope. Uh, and we'll accidentally read a letter from Lance, even though we don't even like Lance. That's how we do. The bones of a lost explorer fascinated by something. There's some kind of journal, read it. We crossed the jungle to the native village. We didn't understand language, but they beckoned for us to stay. When I awoke in the morning, only Captain Frezier and I remained. Hunger had destroyed many people during the night, even our friends. We saw the bodies of our comrades and ran into the jungle. That's when we discovered Angkor Wat. Rumor says that you can gain immortality here where the spirits live. But all I saw were demons. I'm going back to my friends. If I don't survive, who would mourn? That's nice. Thank you, game. All right, so murdering these guys is uh, a lot easier. Uh, as free Dan. Because of that. Oh, this is just great. When we started, there were 39 enemies. There are 20 enemies. Uh, we still have a ways to go. You would think that these flies would get easier with that power, um, but you're trying to freaking snipe them with essentially a shotgun blast for all intents and purposes. Oh, we have been super maxed on these jewels for a while. I missed someone? Or is that a... Let's see. I might have missed someone. Alright, so this is an incredibly long level as we learned in the previous episode and it takes quite a while to dig through it. So we're going to patiently slog through here. Um, I don't intend to put a whole bunch of breaks in. Hopefully this uh, this is one of those episodes that gets by pretty quick and we get in and we get out and we can move on. The game is hitting the final tenth I would say. Um, and that's great for a number of reasons. It's sad for a number of reasons. This is one of my fa uh, favorite childhood games. Um, so to be almost... Yeah, there's one on this over here. To be almost done with it is sad. Um, now it's an incredibly twisted game. And it pretty much just exists to make you sad. Uh, but... Nah, I gotta go back. But, 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 but... Um, I enjoy things like, you know, playing as Free Dan. I enjoy playing as Will. I enjoy all the... Ah, uh, that's why I couldn't hit it. Come on. Oh, you son of a bee. He might actually be a son of a bee, so that's fair. So yeah, it's, it's incredibly sad uh, to be reaching the end, but it's incredibly exciting to be able to show the 100% ending. Um... Because I, personally, have not uh, previously done the 100% ending. We'll come back and get that guy. I think you have to go through here anyways. One nice thing about Free Dan in regards to those guys is that I can poke them away. See, I don't have to be within, like, flute-smacking distance. Is that guy just, like, perma-stuck doing that? All right, we'll have to figure that out after. Yeah, Free Dan really gives you the ranged advantage on those guys. Um, they can sit there and spin all day long. You can just poke at them. 
Now, what it doesn't really help you with is these guys. Reason being, you can't one-hit them. You can't poke at them and effectively kill them. And your Dark Friar ability does not take them on 100%, even in the upgraded state. So, you gotta be a little bit careful. Oh, the ability is just amazing. So yeah, as we reach the end, you know, this game has given us a lot of freaking sadness and woe, and uh, I find that just really interesting for a game that was basically explicitly designed for kids, right? I mean, this, this isn't a game that just screams like, oh, this is for adults only, what are you doing? Um, you know, to some extent it was designed for kids, and it's kind of like, what... What was someone thinking with the addition of laborers, with the addition of vampires, and all of this insanity? Hmm. Alright, I'll bite. I do not even remember what this was. So yeah, I'll take it. What's up? What do I get? Earthquaker can now be used. Oh, I remember this one. The Earthquaker is a dark power that can only be used by the f by Freedan the Dark Knight. This causes earthquakes. The enemy won't be able to move for a long time. Push the attack button when jumping down. Total situational gimmick and used to spawn progress. Nothing else, nothing more, and I'm totally okay with that, because when you see it here in a moment, you're going to go, okay, that's cool. So we are trekking through. My personal goal would be to get through the rest of Angkor Wat. That's so cool. The rest of Angkor Wat today. Um, this might make for a slightly longer than average episode, and I'm relatively okay with that. What I don't want to keep doing is uh, running and beating my head against this level when there's other cool stuff for us to be doing. Like, the 100% ending to this game is what I'm questing towards, and this is just an unnecessary stop within that quest. <laughs> oh, look at how fast that guy's going. Oh, that's terrible. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, look at that beautiful health bar. Oh, that's awesome. Red jewel? Red jewel. Two red jewels. This is great. This is great. I'm having a blast playing this. Um, there's games that I play because I think people will watch, and there's games I play that I genuinely enjoy. And the games I play because people will watch... Um, definitely seem to get more hits, right? Like I, like a fun run of Mario. Like I didn't really need to play Mario, but I know some people would actually be interested. And sure enough, they they were for the most part. Um, now, I kind of point to that to this, right? I don't think anyone is ever really going to watch this, and uh, this is not going to be like a top video on YouTube. Read the journal, anchor research report, Frazier. There is a temple where a spirit is said to live in that main hall, second floor, a bright room blocks the way. You must go through it to reach the top floor of the bright light mass corridor. If you want to meet the spirit, you must wear the black crystal glasses. I saw something shining on the ground near the main hall, but I had to run. Probably the glasses from the legend. I regret life. Whatever. I hope my child can carry on my dream. Yep, that's... It's great, bud. Good priorities. So if memory serves, when they say the main chamber, they literally mean go back in time. Alright, so unfortunately when you do that, you can't kill these guys, so we'll wait him out. Come on, there we go. Oh, missed him completely. <laughs> Come on! Oh, I just love that. 
It's just visually so appealing, the whole screen rattles. The sound isn't great, but uh, what are you going to do on a game system like this? It's, it's got some age to it. Yeah, there's games I play because I think people will actually be interested, and there's games I play strictly and only for me. And this is a game that I play strictly 100% only for me. Like, I don't care if no one else watches it. At the end of the day, I'm perfectly happy uh, just playing through it. And uh, if it's something you enjoy, I'm glad you enjoy it. If it's not something you enjoy, that's okay. I'm okay with that, you should be okay with that, we should all be okay with that. How I get. Uh, this place is basically just a big hedge maze at times. I'm still okay with that. It's a good level. This game, I remember. I remember release day. I I read about it in Nintendo Power magazine, and if you remember Nintendo Power magazine, and you got all the issues like I did when I was a kid, uh, you probably have the same fond memories of reading the articles about these games that you had never ever heard of, and like you probably had no hope of ever hearing about them. Unless you had Nintendo Power. Because this is, like, obscure by pretty much any standards you apply. There we go. Like, even people who are familiar with the series, the Soul Blazer Trilogy, um, this is like a, you know... They're not gonna, they're not gonna have an encyclopedic knowledge of a thing. And that's, I think, part of the allure and the charm, is when I talk about this game so fondly uh, with my friends... Oh, what's that? We found our glasses! Okay, so before we get much further, I'm going to put a cut here, and I'm going to go grab that last enemy in the previous area that I skipped over lazily, um, because I am a completionist. And that will literally bother me for the rest of my life if I don't go deal with that. So, if you don't mind, I will be right back. Okay, in another uh, episode of why this game is so trolly. See that bush tucked way back in there that just doesn't look like it quite belongs? Yup. That's my health power up. Oh, this game. Trolling me all along the way. Um... So I am going to put another cut in here, and we'll rejoin back um, for progression. Back at the main temple. Oh, got it. What are you? I missed a commentary about how freaking bright it is. What we are going to do here is release some red jewels into the wild, uh, because... We are high up on life in red jewels. So I put the glasses on and I can see. Which is great. Seeing is great. Being able to see is a tremendously underrated skill. Uh, otherwise, you literally just get that thing of sadness, woe, and regret. Let's jump down here just to show another mechanism of this. You have to jump down to get the various items here. Which is neat. Now you get nothing for it, essentially. I don't even know if I have to be Will. So I'm going to go as far ahead as free Dan as I can and come back as Will if I have to. This game, in this level specifically, is a lot. A lot of guess and check. I'm not going to say I have a problem with it. Like, I actually genuinely enjoy this level. I think it... Ah, oh, yes, I have to. That's terrible. Ugh. 
I will fully explore the other side before we go switch to Will. Um, because if, of course. This game never wants to give you the easy road. All right. But you know what? As we move to this next point, this is a great part to leave it off. In the next episode, we'll uh, hopefully finish out this temple as well. Um, by sliding under a whole bunch of stuff, and that'll be great. We got a few more red gems, I believe, two to get. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna knock this out, man. We're gonna we're gonna be done with this temple in the not so distant future, and quickly, quickly heading to the end of the game and the 100% uh, reward, which is quite epic. So hey, on that note, thank you for watching. Obviously, there's a ton of things you could be watching out there on the internet. Um, many much more interesting than me. So, thank you very much. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit us up on Twitter, games underscore done underscore slow. Uh, games done slow and bad on Facebook. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know how we can do better. And hey, as always, thank you. And have a good night.